Hi everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I want to talk to you in today's video about two things that were uh, an issue for me on a recent project. So I was, I was conducting a survey on a project um, that had a very steep slope, you know, and uh, it, it, it was just difficult to collect data on. Um, but two issues I had identified <clears throat> that were problematic for me during this survey, because of the steepness of the slope, were the following. So number one, and they both have to do with locational accuracy, right? So both of these issues are going to be problems for me reconstructing the locations of potential uh, buried targets. But the, uh, the two are this. Number one is, as the, sto the slope is very steep, the antenna, even though it's flush against the ground surface, it's not pushing the signal right directly below it. And so whether or not you're collecting it as a grid or you're collecting it as a GPS, you know, with a GPS attachment to it, it's going to put this thing off, the signal off to the side. Now, although the signal spreads anyway, right, when you're conducting a GPR survey on, um, you know, on, on a flat ground, it spreads. But in this case, it's pushing literally, in my case, it was probably a 45 degree angle or worse away from that spot that I was right on top of um, during the survey. And so that angle was actually reflecting, right, that, that angle of the antenna um, was creating a signal that was reflecting off of burials. This is what I was, was locating was uh, unmarked graves. But it was reflecting off of unmarked graves that were upslope from where I was. So even when I reconstruct you know, a time slice of this, even if I get a topographic correction, it's still going to look like the reflection is coming from where the antenna was, but it wasn't. It was coming from upslope. So that's of difficulty that uh, um, I think everyone needs to be aware of. So number one is it's going to completely screw your angle uh, of, of, of response, and you need to be aware that some of the things that you're identifying on the slope might actually not be directly below your antenna. Um, so that's number one. Number two, the second problem I had was the two wheels, right? So I was collecting in a grid, but the two wheels were um, spinning at very different rates. So the wheel that was upslope was spinning at a much faster rate. The wheel that was downslope was spinning at a slower rate. And, um, you know, this was because the wheel that was upslope kept coming off the, the ground, right? I mean, it, it kept disconnecting itself from the actual ground. Um, because all of the weight, it was so steep, all of the weight, I got to probably put a picture of this somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll stick a picture uh, in the blog post. But um, all the weight was on the wheel that was that was downslope. And so when the survey wheel for the for the um, for the push cart was down slope, it was fine, right? No problems. There was no disconnection of the wheel from the ground. But when the wheel that was the survey wheel was upslope on the reverse transect, that thing kept coming, lifting off of the ground, and while it lifted, it spun, and sometimes it you know, spun really fast, and it was a real difficult thing. So what happened was I was basically getting 30 meters uh, counted on a transect going, which was they were 30-meter transects one way, and I was getting 32 meters coming back, you know, 31 or 32 meters coming back. So when I reconstruct, and I, I really, the point is I can't reconstruct this as a 3D, but the reason I can't is that you know, it's going to cut off a bunch of that GPR data. And so I'm going to have to go through line by line. And it's a slower process, um, you know, but, but it's something that we should do, all do, when we can do it on any given circumstance. And so I'm going to go line by line, profile by profile, um, and mark out where those potential targets are. Uh, but I can't do a 3D reconstruction or a time slice with any kind of accuracy because the differential rate of spinning – Right when the survey wheel was upslope compared to downslope is, is, is a real problem. So if you have other issues that you have found, you know, while you're on slope, I mean, another third isn't really one of them, but I, I did fear for my life because some of this, the slope was so steep and the, the, the GPR was pushing on me. You know, I had to hold it up. I was literally walking the GPR from the side of it instead of behind it. And I was, you know, kind of putting my hand up to support it. Uh, but, you know, if you have some issues that you have found on, on steep slopes that I haven't mentioned here, then put a comment below and tell me what you have found and tell all of the other, uh, you know, people who are watching this video 
um, either on the blog or on YouTube, what you have found. Uh, I want to make this in a, a community, right? And, uh, uh, and I think that we should all learn from each other. And I have plenty to learn from every one of you too. So let me know what you've seen and what you've been through. Anyway, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this channel. We're going to be producing a bunch more videos in the near future that we're not going to be putting on the blog. Uh, and so getting over here and putting a subscri you know, subscribing, you'll get notified whenever we do that. We have a video coming up soon, actually, in December. We're going to do an interview uh, with one of the manufacturers of GPR, talk about um, the utility locating industry. So we've got some really, really interesting things on the horizon, and I, I want you to be able to see all that. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, thanks for always watching, and I'll see you on the next video.